Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to adjust the hover state of an anchor tag. Anchor tag just means link. It's like a link. Uh, I don't know why they use anchor tag because it seems uh, more complex, but anchor tag just means link. Um, this challenge will touch on the usage of pseudo classes. A pseudo class is a keyword that can be added to selectors in order to select a specific state of the element. For example, the styling of an anchor tag can be changed for its hover state using hover pseudo class selector. Here's a CSS change to the color. Uh, yeah, so on hover, this uh, here it would change the anchor tag, meaning the link to be red. So which means if you bring your cursor over the link, it'll turn red. Not touching it, but just hovering over it. The code editor has a CSS rule to style all A tags black. Black meaning this uh, bit right here. This zero zero could mean black as well. It's a, it's the exact same thing. Add a rule so that when you when the user hovers over the A tag, the color is blue. Okay, so you go A hover color uh, blue. And now if you hover over this, it's blue. Um, I think I made that too simple. That's just like something that I, I know from experience. Um, let's run the test to see if it passed. Okay, cool. So this is the answer to the question. You just, um, uh, yeah, this uh, colon here just means like a, a situation in which the CSS selector is experienced and hovers the word that it's used for. Um, this is something you really just have to dive in and learn a little bit more about, but this seems really obvious after a while. Um, I wouldn't change the, the look of it. Like I wouldn't add spacing in here. I'm not sure if that would affect it. It does affect it. So this is actually the, the only way to, to do this. Um, so yeah, this is just some basic CSS. This is how you write over, uh, hover classes. And, you know, obviously, um, with web applications, it's very often that you're dealing with uh, the hover situation with uh, text. And so you want to make sure that you design web applications for that. You don't want to have a web app where if you hover over uh, a link, it turns white or something like that because it could disappear in front of people's faces and make it uh, not usable from a user interface perspective. So understanding hover is very important. So I appreciate the fact that FreeCodeCamp threw this in there. And uh, we run the test. Uh, it passes, and that's great.